What a time it is to be alive, Zip fans. My name is Nico Weathers, and I'm breaking down the highlights from the Akron Zips game against the Temple Owls. We're not used to seeing fans in the stands, but this time was different. The Akron Zips hosted their first home game since the COVID pandemic, where fans were allowed to attend on September 11, 2021. And once again, the Akron Zips fans showed their school spirit. Now that we're done with the intro, here we go with the highlights. Let's get it rolling. At 10 minutes left remaining in the first quarter, the Acre Zip strike first with DJ Iron scoring on a nine yard run up the end zone with the extra point attempt by Corey Schmeagel, the GOAT. Two minutes left in the first quarter, Tony Grimes Jr. received the 17-yard pass from the dual-threat quarterback, Cato Nelson, with the extra point attempt, Corey Schmeagel, scoring. Take it in once again. The Akrozips were up 14-0 on the Temple Isles. With two minutes... And 26 seconds left in the first quarter. The Temple Isles scored right back. Randall Jones scored a 70 yard pass from Justin Lynch, where Rory Bell had the extra point attempt. Now the score is currently 14 7, Akrasiv's lead. The second quarter was pretty rough for the Zips as they only struggled to score three points throughout the quarter because the Temple Isles defense was elite and an injury to Cato Nelson also didn't help. Here we go. 11 minutes and 46 seconds left. Corey Schmingel boots a 39-yard field goal right through the uprights. Next five minutes and 24 seconds, Cato Nelson fumbles and injures himself as William Kanuku. Scores a 38-yard fumble return for the touchdown. Rory Bell with the PAT. Five minutes, 12 seconds left. The new quarterback, DJ Irons, his first pass at home as an Akron Zip is intercepted by Manny Walker for a three-yard interception return where Rory Bell gets the PAT. 37 seconds left into the second quarter. Rory Bell Scores a 26-yard field goal, leaving the score 24-17 as the Temple Isles scored 17 straight unanswered points. The remainder of the game was definitely rough for the Zips in their first home game since the COVID pandemic where they were allowed fans, but the fans still reigned supreme and the fans still showed their spirit. But let's take it away with the highlights. Third quarter, the Temple Isles score a 27-yard pass touchdown. Justin Lynch to Randall Jones with the PAT being Rory Bell. 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Justin Lynch scores right up the middle with the one-yard touchdown with the PAT being Rory Bell. Transition into the fourth quarter. Rayvon Bonner scores a one-yard run up the middle where the score is now 45-17. And to end the game, the Akron Zips score a touchdown late where Kanata Mumfield scores a three-yard pass touchdown from DJ Irons with 2.47 left where the game ended being 45-24. The Temple Isles beat the Akron Zips on the road, being 1-1 one one on the season, dropping the Akron Zips to 0-2. Until next time, guys, here you go in the studio.